Hey guys, it's David with Cars and Code. Today I wanted to do a quick overview on how to do um, an item click command binding with Xamarin Forms. So out of the box, list view just comes with an item click event that you can use, but that gets put on your code behind. So um, it's real nice to be able to get that command in there. Uh, so so this is just a quick video on how to do that. So. Uh, here we got pretty much just a standard Xamarin Forms start a project. I added a list view to the project. Um, and if we come over to the main page, uh, .xaml.cs, the, the background code, we're, um, we're assigning this binding context equals new main page view model. So the, here's our view model for the main page. We've got this property called my source. Uh, which is going to be the the um, source for the list view, and we're initializing it to first entry, second entry, and third entry here. So if we run this on our emulator, we're we're just going to see a little list of uh, first entry, second entry, and third entry exactly like you might expect. So there you go: first entry, second entry, and third entry. So what we're going to do first is we're going to create our new custom class that um, extends from list view. So we're going to call it better list view because our list view is going to be much better. So we'll make it public and extend list view and add that using. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to add this property that we're going to bind to. So let's call it um, a public i command and we'll call item click command. So then we'll add a getter and setter in here, but we're gonna leave that blank real quick. So then what we're gonna do is come up over here and we're gonna add a new bindable property. So this is kind of Xamarin's way of creating a new um, bindable property, dependency property for um, a certain class. So we're gonna uh, create it. This is it's the syntax is is pretty much the same for all of these. So we're just gonna go through and create this new bindable property. We'll call it item click command property, and we're gonna be a bindable ooh, bindable property dot create, and then we have to give it the name of the property that we want. So we'll do name of item click command, and then we have to give it a return type. So our type is a I command. Sorry, type type of, and then we'll do the next one is the declaring type. So this is our new better list view, and I think that's that's everything you need. So it, it should have a default value of null, but we can throw that in there real quick. So now we have this new item click command property. And now we can fill in the getter and setter. So for the getter, we're just going to return um, i command uh, this dot get value item click command property. So this is just going to get the value um, on on the instance of the list view for the item click command property. Um, after that, uh, for the setter, we'll do this dot set value, which is the same thing. We're going to set the item click command property uh, to value. So the last thing we have to do is in the constructor, we're going to tap into this um, item click, um, item tapped, sorry, item tapped command. So we'll call it on item tapped. And we'll generate that method. And in this method, this is where the magic is going to happen. We're just going to say, uh, first check if item is not equal to null, uh, the, the basic null check. And then if it's not null, then we're just going to do the item click command um, dot execute, and we're going to pass through the item that was was selected. And last, what we're going to do is we're just going to set um, selected item to null, because I don't know if you've noticed uh, in, in the actual application we just created, uh, if after you select one of these, it stays highlighted. So after we execute the command, we're just going to set it to null, and that's going to deselect it for us, so so we don't have that item remaining highlighted. So once we have that, we're just going to have to add it to our actual page. So if we come back to our main page.xaml, we're going to change this from a list view to our better list view. 
All right, so now we're, we're using this better list view. Um, item source is bind to my source. Now we need to actually uh, do the item uh, click command property binding. So we're going to bind to a variable called, uh, we'll say item click command, sure. Item click command. So now if we go to our main page view model, we're going to create a new um, I command called item click command. So this is what we're going to be binding to. In the getter, we're going to return a new command, uh, add a lambda in here, and we're going to take the item that was selected, which remember this is the string that was, was selected. And then in here is where we're going to have the item that was actually selected. So what we're going to do just to show it when it is selected is we're going to come back over to our XAML here and we're going to add a label. And we're just going to say that the text is going to be binding to, uh, let's say, alert message. Now if we go back to our view model, we can create a public string um, alert message. Private, we need to create a backing store for it. Alert message. Um, so we need a getter. And a setter. And where alert message equals value. And then we're going to do a on property changed. So down here, when we uh, get this item click command, we'll just set alert message equals item as string. And then our, our label there should be updated with the, the title. So if we run this real quick, We'll pop it up. It'll look pretty much the same. We'll just have a little label in the top. And when we select one, it should populate in the label there. So if we click on first entry, it shows first entry, second entry, third entry. And notice after I click it, um, it looks like it's clicked and then it just gets deselected. So it's a nice little list.